Hello student, welcome to honors classes. Today I am going to discuss botany part of the biology question paper of the year 2019. In my next video, that is on 15th of May, I'm going to discuss the most probable questions of EVS for the year 2022. And then on continuously on 17th and 18th, I'm going to upload the most probable questions for the botany and zoology for this year, means for the exam of 2022. So let's start today's video. So the, the first question is, who proposed binomial nomenclature? And the answer is the binomial system of nomenclature was introduced by Carolus Linnaeus. Second question, which is also carrying one marks, fusion of two nuclei in sexual cycle is called what? This fill in the blanks. And the answer is karyogamy. Then what is the common name of the pheophysi algae? Answer is brown algae. As you know that pheophysi is brown algae, rhodophysi means red algae, chlorophysi means green algae. So in this paper, pheophysi is coming. So in this year paper, rhodophysi or chlorophysi may also come. Next, potato is a modified root. You have to write whether it's true or false. The answer is false since potato is a modified stem, not root. Only sweet potato is a modified root. Next, name the proposer of cell theory. So answer is the cell theory was eventually formulated in 1839 year is also important. And this is created by Sladen and Schoen. And next, define and distinguish any four, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. And so this is the difference. So prokaryotic cells means no membrane bound nucleus or membrane bound nucleus. It means in eukaryotes, the nucleus is covered by a defined membrane, but whereas in prokaryote, the nucleus is not defined, means defined. Next, cell wall made of peptidoglycan, where is cell wall if present made up of cellulose? No membrane bound organelles and membrane bound organelles are present. So for two marks, you have to just write two or yeah, three points, but here I'm giving you five points. If more marks come, then you have to write all these five points. Next question, difference between hardwood and sapwood. So hardwood means it forms outer wood of an old stem, whereas, sorry, so sapwood means, and hardwood means it forms the central wood of an old stem. Sapwood, it is light colored, whereas hardwood is dark colored. It is lighter in weight, it is heavier in weight. Then it is, it is the functional part involved in ascent of sap. It is dead and non-functional part. And thalluses are absent, whereas thalluses are present. Next, antheridia and archegonia. The main difference between the antheridium and archegonium is that antheridium is the haploid structure producing male gametes in cryptogams, such as fawns and bryophytes, whereas Archegonium is the multicellular structure producing female gametes of both cryptogam and gymnosperm. Means antheridium is the male producing organ, whereas archegonium is the female producing organ. Antheridium is a club sex structure born on the short multicellular stalk, while archegonium has a neck, venter, and swollen base. Antheridium resembles the antheridium. Androsium resemble the antheridium in flowering plants, while the gynosium resemble the archegonium. Since gynosium is known as female organ and archegonium also produce female organ, that's why it is both are resembled, whereas androsium is known as male organ, which produce the pollen grain. And here, sorry, androsium, yeah. And antheridium also produce the male gamete, that's why both are resembled. Trachytes and vessel. So for trachytes and vessels, the trachytes are the part of xylem. Vessels are cylindrical tubular, tuber structure formed as row of cell placed on end to end. The trachytes found alone in the wood of fawn gymnosperm such as pines. Vessels are only found in angiosperm such as mango tree along with trachytes. So these are found only in gymnosperm and fawns, whereas vessels are found only in angiosperm. Its main conduction of water and minerals and give mechanical support to the plant body, whereas vessels conduct the water and minerals from root to the leaves and giving mechanical support are the important functions of the vessels. And these are the stacks are. If too much difference comes, no need to draw the diagram, you just write the difference only. 
cells cyclic and non cyclic photophosphorylation cyclic photophosphorylation means electron travel in cyclic manner that's why it is cyclic photophosphorylation where is non cyclic means they travel in non cyclic manner energy rich molecule atp is formed energy rich molecule like atp and nadp h2 are formed photolysis does not occur photolysis occur only photosystem 1 is involved here both photosystem 1 and 2 are involved macro and sorry this should be micro mi micronutrients for plants and these are the difference here total six difference are given so for two marks you just write three difference so these are the differences next question answer briefly any three of the following and each question is answer is carrying three marks what is mean by heterospory, right? The significance of heterospory. So heterospory is a phenomenon in which two kind of spores are born by the same plant. These spores differ in size. The smaller one is known as microspore and the larger one is known as megaspore. The microspore germinates to form the male gametophyte and the megaspore germinates to form the female gametophyte. Then significance of heterospory, number one, in gymnosperm and angiosperm, heterospores stimulate the seed development. It is necessary for male and female gametophyte differentiation. What is the hydroponics? Explain the uses and explanation of hydroponics. So this is the answer. This is a kind of hydroculture and is a technique of growing plants using solutions with mineral nutrient without soil. Means in this process, plants are artificially grown in a artificial solution, not in soil. Terrestrial flora could be grown with their roots in the mineral solution only or in an inert medium like gravel or turtle. Hydroponics plants produced a greater yield of fruits and vegetables because in a hydroponic system, plants are more densely spaced together compared to the size of the land that would be needed to grow the same number of plants. Next, what are the nuclear pore state is functions? So nuclear pores are tiny holes present in the nuclear membrane of the nucleus. They are formed by the fusion of two nuclear membranes. These holes allow specific substances to be transferred into a cell and out from it. What are the phytochromes and explain the rule of phytochromes. Phytochromes are the photoreceptors that have been found in plants, bacteria and fungi. Phytochromes control many aspects of plant development. They regulate the germination of seeds, the synthesis of chlorophyll, the elongation of the seedlings, the size, shape, and number and movement of the leaves and the timing of the flowering in other plants. Next, give an account on the structure and function of the embryo sac in angiosperm. Angiosperm mature embryo sacs are typically seven cell, eight nuclear structure, and egg apparatus consisting of an egg cell and two synergic cells. Means the egg apparatus contain one egg cell and two synergic cells is present at the micropylar end, and three antipodal cells are present in the carousel end. The female gametophyte of a seed plant consisting of a thin wall sac within the nucleus that contain egg nucleus and other nuclei which give rise to the zygote in the endosperm on the fertilization. Means within in the embryos, within the embryo set, after fertilization, zygote and endosperm is formed. Write notes on the following any two. It is carrying four marks, various steps involved in glycolysis. So these are the steps in the glycolysis process. There are total 10 steps. So you have to remember the important main product. First, you try to remember the main product. So glycolysis, first product is glucose. Your processes start with the glucose. Then glucose is converted to glucose 6-phosphate. If possible, try to remember that these are the name of the enzymes. But if not possible, then at least you have to remember the name of the main product, glucose. Glucose is converted to glucose 6-phosphate, then fructose 6-phosphate, then fructose 1,6-biphosphate, then fructose 1,6-biphosphate is converted by adolescent enzyme. It is converted into two products. One is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and another is dehydroxyacetone phosphate. Then glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is converted to 1,3-biphosphoglycerate. And then 
this one three biphosphoglycerate is converted to three phosphoglycerate, then two phosphoglycerate, then phosphoenol pyruvate, and finally it is converted into pyruvate. So in the glycolysis process, there are total ten steps. So if question come, use if you write the answer like this means in this diagram means chart wise, then also you will get full marks. Next question, alternation in generation or in bryophyte. So alternation of generation is a cycle involving two phases of life. Alternation of generation, it means two generation, two steps are alternate with each other. Who is regularly alternate with each other? In bryophyte, the first phase of life is gametophytic phase. In which gametes are produced, Gam gametes phytics means production of gamete. So here gametes are produced that contain half the number of chromosomes. This is the dominant phase in the life of bryophyte and reproduce sexually by egg and sperm. Once the egg and sperm fuse to produce the zygote, start the second phase. And the zygote germinate to produce the sporophyte whose cells possess the complete number of chromosomes. Since zygote is formed by the fusion of male and female, means half chromosome will come from male and half chromosome will come from female. As a result, zygote will get full number of chromosome, means complete chromosome. The second phase is the sporophytic phase, is the spore producing phase, and this phase cannot exist independently. Means sporophytic phase is completely dependent on gametophytic phase. And in case of bryophyte, gametophyte is the dominating phase. Next question, importance of mitosis cell division in plants. Mitosis results in the formation of two daughter cells from one parent cell in which the daughter cells have same number of chromosomes as in the parent cells and are identical to the parent cell. Importance of mitosis, they help in increasing the cell count or it is simply called the growth, means they help in the growth of the body of the organism. They help in repairing the damaged cell or regrowth of the cells in carton wounds. It helps in asexual reproduction where the maintenance of chromosome in the daughter cells are necessary. Next, description of different stages of Calvin cycle. This is also a very important question. One of the, the Calvin cycle reactions can be organized into three basic stages. Three stages are involved in Calvin cycle with are fixation, reduction and regeneration. First, you have to remember this three terms, fixation, reduction, regeneration. In the stroma, in addition of carbon dioxide, two other chemicals are present to initiate the Calvin cycle and enzyme Rubisco. This is very, very important. Rubisco enzyme is involved in the Calvin cycle and it, the Calvin cycle is started with the first with the enzyme that is Rubisco and the molecule ribulose biphosphate in short form it is known as RUBP. So this is the diagrammatic presentation of Calvin cycle. So this is the RUBP with the help of carbon, carbon dioxide molecule and with the help of Rubisco enzyme it is converted to PZA and this step is called carboxylation. Then PZA with ATP and NADPH is converted to triose phosphate and this step is known as reduction. Then triose phosphate is converted to again RUBP and this step is known as regeneration. So these are the three main steps of Calvin cycle, carboxylation, reduction and regeneration. Next. Define photobiodism and vernalization based on the flowering response. How can you categorize the angiosperm? Photobiodism is the induction of flowering in plants by exposing them to the appropriate photoperiods, means light or dark period, whereas vernalization is a process induction of flowering in plant by exposing them to the cold temperature. Means photobiodism means flowering is means done by in present by exposing in presence of light or dark whereas vernalization means the induction of flowering takes place by exposing in the cold temperature next most horticulture crop can be classified into one of the three categories based on their flowering response to photoperiod they are day neutral plant short day plant and the long day plan. These are short form. They one is called short day plan means SD. Then 
डे न्यूट्रल प्लान मीन्स एस डी पी एंड लॉन्ग डे प्लान मीन्स एल डी और व्हाट इज न्यूक्लिक एसिड मेंशनिंग द बेसिक कंपोनेंट ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डीएनए मॉलिक्यूल एंड दिस आंसर इज ऑलरेडी आई हैव अपलोडेड इन द कोई आंसर ऑफ 2017 सो फॉर द आंसर यू गो थ्रू दैट क्वेश्चन पेपर सो इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज शेयर इट एंड लाइक इट एंड इफ यू नीड एनी अदर नोट्स और एनी अदर आंसर यू प्लीज कमेंट सो दैट आई कैन फुलफिल योर नीड एंड सो in the next video i am go going to upload the most probable questions of evs which are supposed to come in this year means in the 2022 okay thank you